bucket in Midland, but that was earlier today. So the hour by hour forecast continues to push the rain out and brings in the dry slot. Look at there, beautiful weather for tomorrow. Get out, maybe pick up some leaves or uh, finish doing the trees, cut the grass. You can do just about anything tomorrow because temperatures will also rebound back into the 90s after seeing readings in the 70s today. Uh, look at the storms though on the way, starting to build as early as Tuesday. Late, late in the evening, the latter part of the evening, could start to see storms pop up on Tuesday. Model forecast not suggesting it, but uh, severe weather risk is marginal for storms on Tuesday. And this will move into Wednesday and Thursday as well. So rain chances will increase this week. Here's the almanac for today. 75 the high, 56 the low. If you did not step outside where, where you didn't get any rain and enjoy this beautiful weather, you missed it. You missed it. Just a fantastic day weather-wise today. 87 and 59 is the averages for this time of the year. And outside, we're starting to cool off a bit. We're starting to see the air cool. It, it's taken a minute, but uh, it's slow to cool because of cloud cover. 70 degrees currently. Southeast winds at 20. The wind speeds have picked up, too. That keeps the numbers up. Humidity 65%, dew point 58. So the moisture's still there. And again, area temperatures, not bad. Very comfortable. A little bit cooler up in the uh, uh, northern sections and down around the mountains. Get some rain cool air in the 50s. There. Here's the wind speeds. Real quick look at it. Southeast winds keeping the moisture in place, pulling that moisture in from the Gulf. Did see some gusts and currently seeing some gusts in the 20s. Peak gusts in the 30s, 40s, and high 20s today. So we did have some breezy conditions, but all in all, not a bad forecast at all. Northern sections overnight tonight. Look at your temperatures in the 50s and then daytime highs in the 80s tomorrow. More sunshine tomorrow. So that's going to help us to warm up. 60s for uh, the Central Basin, 63 in Midland, Odessa, and then 93 for Pinwell, 94 for Grand Falls, Midland, and 91. Transpecos, 64 in Fort Stockton, Sanderson, 64, both in the low 90s tomorrow. Uh, Red Bluff the same at 92. And for the mountains, we'll see some cool 50s in Marfa, 60s around Alpine, 55 in Fort Davis, all in the low 80s tomorrow, 92 in Presidio, mid-90s, parts of the Big Bend. Seven-day forecast. If you like rain, you're going to love this. Another shot at it. Tuesday, late Tuesday and the Wednesday, 50% chance on Wednesday, 50% chance on Thursday. Look at the highs, uh, Lauren, 69 and 74. And then we dry out for the weekend. So if you didn't like the, the kind of crazy weather this weekend, next weekend looks pretty calm. But uh, Wednesday, Thursday could be very wet. Rain boots. You know what, Warriors, I'm sorry, we can't even ignore it. When you were doing your severe weather update just a little while ago, yes. you got a little visit from Casey Jones. What yes. looked like a cardboard cutout she was ready. of Casey Jones. She wanted to say hello. She was ready. She was ready to yeah. turn in on the wood. She was like the, the, the uh, basketball player for the Warriors <laughs> that did the... We were all cracking up behind the scenes here. Just so. It was very funny. <laughs> Still has the face. I can't do that. Face, but, so we have to <laughs> look forward to some rain next week. I know I'm excited to have my rain boots. I always have my rain boots. I am ready. too. And you I apologize know. to my wife for just doing what I just did.